Have you ever been tangled in a relationship where you constantly felt like you were walking on eggshells? Maybe it's because you've been through the whirlwind of narcissistic abuse. It's a challenging situation, but healing is possible. In this video, we're diving into some strategies that can help you recover and reclaim your life after experiencing narcissistic abuse. 1. Understand Narcissistic Abuse Understanding narcissistic abuse is like learning the enemy's playbook in a game. It's about getting a grip on what makes these people tick. It's also about discovering why their relationships feel like a roller coaster you can't get off. Imagine you're puzzled about why your friend always puts you down or makes everything about them. That's the sneaky way of narcissistic behavior. Learning this stuff isn't just about knowing definitions. It's like grabbing a shield to protect yourself. It's similar to understanding how a magician performs a trick. You're no longer baffled once you know the trick's mechanics. You see through the illusion. Knowing the ins and outs of narcissistic behavior can be a game changer in healing. When you spot those red flags early on, you have a superpower that keeps you from falling into the same old traps. Plus, it validates that what you've been through is real. That validation alone can be a big step in the recovery journey. 2. Acceptance and Validation Acceptance and validation in healing from narcissistic abuse are like shining a light on what happened. Imagine you've been in a relationship where you were constantly put down or manipulated. Acceptance is like looking at that situation and saying, I see what went down and it wasn't my fault. It's not about saying it was okay, but more about acknowledging the truth of what happened. Dr. Ramani Durvasula, a renowned clinical psychologist, explains it as recognizing reality without blaming yourself. So, it's about owning your story without letting it control your future. 3. Seek support. Seeking support after experiencing narcissistic abuse is crucial for healing. Think of it like having a team to help you through tough times. A therapist who knows about trauma and abuse can be like a guide towards healing and growth. They're like the coach who helps you get back in the game after a tough match. Talking to trusted friends or family is like having cheerleaders on your side they can give you that extra boost of support and understanding. Psychologists often say that having a supportive network can make a huge difference in recovering from narcissistic abuse. Joining support groups is like finding people who've been through similar experiences. They understand you and your emotional wounds. You can share experiences and strategies to get through the tough times. 4. Set Boundaries Setting boundaries is like drawing a line in the sand, saying, this is where I stand and I won't let anyone cross this line. Psychologists often talk about how vital boundaries are for our well-being. Dr. Judith Orloff, a psychiatrist, says, setting healthy boundaries is a way of caring for myself. Suppose a friend keeps asking for favors and it's getting too much for you. You feel overwhelmed but don't want to upset them. That's where setting boundaries comes in. You might say, I care about our friendship, but I can't keep doing these favors. I need some time for myself. Setting boundaries isn't about being mean, but about caring for yourself. 5. Self-care and healing activities. Self-care is like giving yourself a big hug after dealing with a challenging situation. Some experts say that meditating or diving into a hobby you love allows you to heal from all that negativity. Doing yoga or writing in a journal helps because it's like hitting the reset button for your mind. Imagine it's like planting flowers in a garden. You're tending to yourself to grow and bloom. Doing something nice for yourself can be a game changer after dealing with a narcissist. It's like saying, I'm taking care of me. And that's a crucial step toward healing and recovery. Surprisingly, 80% of our audience hasn't subscribed. Please click the subscribe button and give this video a like to support us in the YouTube algorithm. Thank you. 
Now, let's continue, shall we? 6. Trauma Processing and Therapy Explore trauma-focused therapies like Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, CBT, Eye Movement Desensitization and Reprocessing, EMDR, or Somatic Experiencing to Heal from the Trauma. These therapies help reset your mental and emotional state. CBT works on changing harmful thought patterns caused by the abuse. It's like rewiring your brain to think healthier thoughts. EMDR, on the other hand, uses eye movements or taps to help process the trauma. It's like sorting through a cluttered room, returning things where they belong so your mind can find peace. Psychologists swear by these therapies for healing from narcissistic abuse. They reckon it's crucial to address the trauma head-on instead of letting it simmer. It's like dealing with a wound. You have to clean it out to let it heal properly. These therapies offer tools and techniques to work through the pain and start feeling like yourself again. 7. Practice mindfulness and grounding techniques. Mindfulness and grounding techniques are like superhero moves for your mind. Suppose you're in a chaotic situation and feeling overwhelmed by emotions. These techniques are your secret powers to calm things down. When you're stressed or anxious, mindfulness helps by bringing your focus to the present moment. It's like training your brain to say, hey, let's take a breather and focus on what's happening right now. On the other hand, deep breathing or grounding techniques give you something tangible to latch on to. It includes feeling the ground beneath your feet or taking slow, deep breaths. Experts say these actions signal your brain that you're safe and steady. It's like a reassurance that everything's okay. So, they're like your mental rescue kit in tough times. 8. Rebuild Self-Esteem and Identity Imagine you've been through this rough patch where a narcissist constantly made you doubt yourself. Rebuilding self-esteem is like giving yourself a pep talk and rediscovering what makes you awesome. Talk about affirmations, those little positive phrases you tell yourself like, I'm worthy or I deserve happiness. It's like planting seeds of positivity in your mind. It's all about reminding yourself of your worth and strengths after someone made you feel like you were nothing. Experts reckon it's about crafting a new story for yourself. One where you're the hero, not the sidekick. 9. Limit contact and create a supportive environment. The deal with this strategy is to dial down the time you spend around the narcissist. It's like giving yourself some space to breathe. Psychologists reckon that limiting how much you're around that negativity can help you heal. Aim to hang out with people who support you and understand what you're going through. Surrounding yourself with these people is like building a shield against all that toxic stuff. It's about finding a safe zone where you feel valued and respected. Creating distance from the person causing harm is crucial for recovery. It's like stepping away from a fire to let the burns heal. The support you get from others acts like a healing balm. They help you regain strength and confidence. 10. Focus on growth and future goals. Set achievable goals for yourself and focus on personal growth. Invest time in activities and pursuits that align with your values and bring fulfillment. Psychologists suggest this approach can be a game changer. Instead of getting stuck in what went wrong, you zoom into what you want to achieve. Suppose you're at the starting line of a marathon. The abuse you went through might feel like a hurdle slowing you down, but setting goals is like putting markers along the way. You focus on reaching those checkpoints step by step. It helps reclaim your life and flip the script from being a victim to becoming a victor. In conclusion, healing from narcissistic abuse is a gradual process. There might be setbacks along the way, but with perseverance and support, you can regain your self-worth, rebuild your life, and thrive beyond the trauma.